Greetings YouTube, Curtis here, and let's continue our casual Burgundy Conquest, where we last left off. We're fighting England. Probably the last time the, any, the, the fight is even remotely challenging. Thankfully that PU broke, that makes me still extremely happy. He's only allied to Munster still, which this is about to stop being a problem. Uh, we need to hurry on this fort though, because the last thing I want is for this guy to uh, make this into a siege race, uh, a base race of sorts. Oh crap, he caught up to zero. We're stuck at 14%. Recruited Minister has expired. Oh, I rolled a disease outbreak because of course I did. I can make my troops better. Uh, not the horses. The cannons? It's not the cannons. So it has to be the infantry, which can become the Condotta and win the shock phase. Excellent. Uh, thankfully, he's too busy sieging. Oh, nice. He got hit by a disease outbreak as well. Good. We need that. Desmond has oh Desmond has fallen, Desmond has fallen. Run guys, there's an English to dislodge, and meat to feed. We're about to get uh, this guy out of the war, and then we'll have to unseize Retelwa because I'm pretty sure he's not going to give it up without a fight. Um, vassal, whatever you do, stay there. Do not even come to help me fight England. I will be okay on my own. I just need one more month. If he gets the fort, I flip a table. He didn't get the fort. Um, why is there a random English cannon up there? I don't know, but I'm going in. I have little morale penalty, but... I have tech 9, he does not, so I have better units than him. Oh, they've got no retelwa. Can I just piece them out? Hey, Munster, how about you go screw yourself? Um... Just give me money and go away. You break your alliance with England? Oh, you don't want to. Keep, you want to keep that? That's fine. Keep it. Keep it and leave me alone. All right. Now let's go and siege that. England got wrecked. Let's uh, keep up the process of wrecking him. Oh, he's dropping things from Man most likely. Oh, he's running this way. Hick Montgomery. Just need the English capital to fall and we'll be fine. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Where are you going with that army, England? Not allowed. Unacceptable. You are staying back there. You are going to watch me wreck your country and you're going to like it. Um. Caught him. This is a good battle. This is a good... Pro oh, it's a farmlands. It's an excellent province to trash the English in. That's right, get the hell out. Get the hell out. Okay. I don't know where he's going, but I'm gonna kill that one stack. Excellent. Oh, he's going to Cornwall. He's going to Cornwall. I can chase him there. Alright, guys, keep... Uh Keep up the fantastic work at doing whatever you're doing. Hey, England. Hey, England. You appear to be having a problem. Ooh, stack wiped him. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. No more English army. He doesn't want to be in this war anymore. He knows what's happening. What's my aggressive expansion at? Oh, he's very angry. Denmark is pretty chill. France is still somewhat angry. The rest of the world don't care anymore. So I can probably take whatever I want from England. With great impunity. Battle of Shrewsbury was won. I will detach an occupation and then go sit on the fort. The king just died. We have an heir who is garbage. I can now proclaim myself to be a kingdom. As it should be. I am the king of- oh, that's a horrible heir. No, 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 no. There will be no, no, uh, no Philip. That, that ain't happening. That's, that's not cool. Um, who has more prestige than me with a Trastamara on their throne? Not England, not Castille. Who else has the same dynasty as us? Oh, that's it. Okay, so as long as that's the case, then I don't have to worry about PUs, because I have the most prestige. We've lost the effects of excommunication, which is amazing. 
Does the Pope like me now? The Pope likes me now. Let's hug the Pope. Hug the Pope. I don't want to be excommunicated again. That's the wrong window. France is still the papal controller, but... Uh, long as the Pope likes me, I'm not going to get excommunicated. So hug the Pope. Hey, we have Norfolk. Oh, we have 91%. Hey, England. It is conquest of King's County. So as long as I take claims, I'm good. Coalition. That is three angry people, not four. It's still three angry people. Now there's four angry people, one of which is England, so I'll have a truce. Which is good. Oh, I wanted to take Montgomery, didn't I? Ah, that's next war's problem. Give me all your money. Go, England. Magnificent. Oh, now we have an unruly subject. Meat is unruly. Can I, can I royal marry you while you're still... Yes, I can indeed do that. Excellent. Now that he's reached this stage, I don't need him anymore. I can very easily... Oh, expensive cores, Kent and Sussex. But I will gladly pay that. It's part of an amazing state called London. And now let's prepare to... Uh, annex this guy. So we're gonna improve relations with him. I'm currently losing money, because... Uh, not sure why. Why is my economy negative? Reinforcements, right. Once my army's done healing, it'll be fine. Um, revolt. Kent can get really angry people. How likely are we getting to hurry to get rebels? That's 21k, and London's part of the problem. Um, I can just ignore them. Let them spawn anyway and just kill them. Because this is part of a state, right? I don't want to ruin it. I'm gonna protect it, and besides, I accept English culture. So, I just need to kill the rebels once, and then they'll understand, and things will be fine. Let's prepare to annex uh, meat. I was also planning to prepare to annex Holland as well. So let's do that as well. Also, I love, I spent my points. If I want to move my capital here, uh, I have to do this. How, how does Austria like me? Austria likes me quite a bit, he hates France anyway. So let's just uh, remove Anvers from the HRE. We will remove it. It is done. Austria now super angry with me. We'll get over it, because now I can almost move my capital there. Which is what we're after. Uh, clergy points? No, no points. No points for another while. We'll still we'll move our capital to Anvers. And um, we will be one with the Dutch. We'll prevent a, a Dutch revolt. Because we will be the Dutch. And things will be fine. And we'll be printing money. That is the plan. That is what this is all about. Uh, we've lost the statesman. That is sad. I want a new... Oh, and better relations over time. Yes, let's hire this guy. Also, perfect timing. Near the end of the year. You're young too, so I'll keep you around for a while. Too many diplo relations. We intend to fix that. I have two vassals I want to annex. We're gonna walk on that. I'm gonna leave this, uh, this Burgundian exclave alone for a bit. Uh, the Kent are going to spawn... Ignored Unrest minus 10 is going to stick around for another five years. That's fine. They'll spawn. I'll kill them. Uh, oh, nice. He's stabilized himself very well. Now, all I care about is the English Separatists. Of size 15k, which is plenty manageable. Um, I just need to leave my army there and at full maintenance. Golden Era for the Ottomans. Congratulations. I hate you guys. Uh, I can build decent stuff. Not really. Main factories? Yes, let's just build one in Odex. Well, why not? And then I can build some buildings. Anvers, you are about to become the capital of the great kingdom of Burgundy. The Burgundian Netherlands shall become just Burgundy. And then we'll have Burgundian Burgundy. Oh, is this really what it will say? I want to see it. It says Bur oh, it says no. It says Burgundy, Burgundy. So it'll probably just keep saying that. That would have been funny, though. 
I would have liked to be the owner of a Burgundian Burgundy. But such is not life. The price went up. I'm not sure why. It's upsetting. Maybe I had a discount that expired. I don't know what kind of discount that would be, but that's probably what happened. It's fine. Moving capital there. We'll, uh... We've lost our claim on France. We need to fix that. Why can I... Oh, I probably have to reselect the province. There we go. Boom. Our capital is now in Anvers. And now... It still says Burgundy, Burgundy. Alright. Perfect. Could have moved it to London as well, but... Anvers is far more important to prevent a Dutch revolt. Liège has the gall to claim Rétélois. Interesting. Uh, Pope is adequately hugged. I'm done with the Pope for now. I will betray him anyway, so... Let's go get a claim back on France. And also, when can I attack Provence? You're still allied to garbage. You have a truce with Austria anyway, so I cannot throw Austria at you. Uh, I can select the Naval Doctrine. I will certainly do that, because I don't know what to do with my money right now anyway. Chance to capture enemy ships is amazing, because it's literally free boats. I have invested 300 ducats to get free boats for the rest of the campaign. So I like that. Three light ships here. Just merge them with the rest of my fleet. I can't justify a three fleet right now. Liège can continue being angry at me. Because Liège does not matter. Protectionism, aggressive expansion. Liège will hate me for quite some time. But he claimed my stuff anyway. How dare he? Oh, there's someone else who's in charge of the church. Hey, Bohemia, who is a pre uh, pewed by Poland. Poland has pews on Lithuania and Bohemia. Poland is... Uh, Dangerous. Very dangerous. Who's he allied to? Mecklenburg, Palatinate, Novgorod. Oh, Novgorod, that's why. You're at war with Novgorod and the Polish, Lithuanian, Bohemian, not yet Commonwealth. Um, right. Opinion going up. Will I annex Holland first or meat first? I think meat makes the most sense. Because Holland I could just randomly inherit. Can I can I randomly inherit him right now? Minus 14% no, because my Diplo rep is garbage. And same thing with Flanders, so I will have to annex them probably using Brunt Force, but that's fine. Um Okay. I still want to attack Provence. When does the truce with Austria expire? March 1513. Duly noted. That shall be when I will try to attack Provence again. Hmm. Being out to Austria is also very useful, because if I take HRE land, he will not be like, return it! He'll just quietly accept it. Oh, there is that annex, the member of the HRE that I have to be careful about. And remove Provence from the Empire is going to take a while to decay, but that's okay. That's more than okay. England has now been reduced to only actual English stuff. And then the next thing I'll probably want to do is just take this entire state. The state of Wessex. So that France can't claim him. Uh, I can gain prestige or I can gain 20 admin points. I mean, 20 admin points is definitely where I want to be right now. Because I really want that extra idea group. Especially as I'm unlocking offensive ideas. I really want the extra idea group. I want... Uh, I need I need admin at this point. Or, no, I need influence first. Influence and then admin. That's where I want to be. For perfect blobbing. Denmark's gonna stick to his alliance with France. Meat now has permanent claims on a few things. In the Isles. Which is very interesting. And somehow, Northumberland claims that. Man has a permanent claim on this as well, on Man. Can gain 10 prestige, certainly. I need more of that prestige if I'm gonna try for the PU thing. Disputed succession. Anhalt. Anhalt is this garbage. You're gonna get PU'd by someone. You're gonna get PU'd by Hesse or Saxony. 
That's unfortunate. Well, that doesn't really matter. It's the HRE. They can do what they want. France, I will get a claim on Rams again. Because I very much want Rams. Do I have a... Do I have Champagne? I could release Champagne as a vassal. No, that's not worth it. I'll just eat these provinces for myself. It's part of a state anyway. Uh, rebels, English separatists, I knew they were coming. I am ready for them. Kent was angered for it. Our army is not so grand. I can lose the stability or make my dudes cost more. Dudes cost more. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Holland is ready for annexation, but do I start with Holland? Because Mead still has a bunch of claims I could use, but he is getting big. That's the thing. He is getting big and he is... Starting to get ideas. Uh, always chastise the landowner. Why would I want to just lose development? I can get a general. Ooh, two development in Breda. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. Free development. The best kind. Do I accept the Dutch and the Flemish? Could I accept the Flemish. I think that's a good idea. I can't accept the Dutch yet. I'll just accept the Flemish. Would make my capital more lucrative. And Brussels. Yeah, let's accept all of the Dutch cultures. We shall remain French in the French culture group. And when I become an empire, I'll just accept Norman naturally anyway. And Francien. Yeah, all is all is gonna be well. It's that's 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 a great plan. Um Rebels, they're still only at 80%, but they're gonna they're gonna spawn, they're coming. They are definitely coming. Um, Provence, Provence, Provence. Let's see. If I was to attack Provence, I could not pull any of my friends in right now. Aragon is cruel, and I have low diplo rep, and I have low diplo rep because I've annexed a vassal, and that makes people angry. Apparently, I'm not done annexing vassals, guys. But if only people hated France, attacking France would also be an option. I can only throw Castille at that, but then I have to fight Denmark and Venice. Until I can also throw Austria in, that's going to be a problem. What is my force limit right now? Force limit is 37. Not bad. Once I've dealt with the unruly English, um, I might just move my armies back to the mainland and try to build up to my force limit. To contest France militarily, who has about 56,000 force limit, holy crap. I mean, I make more money than him, but uh, he clearly has the grander armies. So I'm gonna need help to fight him. But I really, really want to fight him. Gallery, can I vassalize you? Can I, can I offer you vassalization? Not quite yet. But it is something that could happen. It is indeed something that could happen. I can once access sure. Can't spawn the rebels. I was ready for them, but I don't have a general. Oh, I do have Mark de Damas. Let's go with Mark de Damas to go and destroy the English. Hey guys! Get the hell out of my country. No rights here. There we go. Oppression successful. Um uh, let's get our troops back to the mainland now, as I was saying. Because you have managed to properly stabilize yourself. Let's annex Holland. Because I want to accept Dutch culture. And, um... Uh, yeah, that's just going to be very lucrative. Now we've lost Mark de Damas. He killed the English and then died. That was his last accomplishment. Um... Let's split our armies into something more f akin to a functional military. I don't want too big a stack right now. Let's throw some uh, the extra horse and make it a neat 20 stack. And then we can make uh, a slightly bigger stack. We'll be filling horses. Maybe add another cannon to this army as well. It's not a cannon to this army. I can afford it. We can also build more buildings. And more manufactories maybe. More temples maybe. Uh... Mine factories, they're not worth much. Let's build some workshops and some temples. Develop the economy. 
while we can. In theory, I say while we can, but in theory, we should have a very powerful economy for most of the campaign. Unless I have to set the country on fire for some reason. Um... Oh, Poland is losing. Whoa! Oh, the Ottomans are involved? The Ottomans are in- Whoa, what? Holy, there's a Muscovite Ottoman alliance. That is terrifying. I can spare some coin for meat or tell meat to go screw himself. Uh, considering opinion will go up by 94 more, go screw yourself, I need my money. You get nothing, Vassal. I've already given you plenty. I have given you all of Ireland and most of Scotland. Stop asking for more. Be independent. Be the you that you should be. <sighs> Alright. Holland's gonna get annexed. It's gonna be a very nice state. Um, where do I go from there? I can't attack the HRE. I still can't attack the HRE. I want to, but I can't. France still allied to Provence. Probably because he wants to deny me from eating him. But, uh... I have a nice 13 stack and a nice 20 stack. We're making good money. You can purchase an age ability. It is going to be transfer subjects. Not that I see myself using it, but that's the plan. Denmark ate Norway. Sweden's getting Novgorodded. Because you're allied to Muscovy. Not a great choice. Not a great choice, clearly. Austria still has only rivaled things outside the HRE. Interestingly, I can throw Austria and Castille at France right now. This is why it's called free trade, or... Um, no, I want mercantilism. It's useful, and... 25 Diplo points is not a steep price to pay when normally it costs three or four times that to take it up by one, so I'll just do it this way. I now promote three cultures, Walloon, Flemish, and English. Um, that sounds like a good target. I would like to promote more cultures, but uh, Liege, you have things that are fully of my cultures. Once we go to Aachen, that's when it stops being true. Hmm. And I did create Northumberland with the intent of feeding him more English stuff. Ooh, 50 admin points. Nice. 10 prestige. Nice. I am deeply prestigious right now. Which is, as where, which is where I want to be if I want to play this Pew game a little. Pewing Aragon would go so far. Wait. Oh, that's Navarra. Okay, okay, I'm still at Aragon. I, I was panicking for a second. I was like, did I lose my alliance with Aragon? But no, I did not. All is well. All is where it should be. My Diplo points are going up very quickly. Northumbrian particularist in Scarborough. He'll be fine. He's a grown vassal. He's a grown independent vassal who don't need no burgundy to back him up. France, though, I can get a claim on you. I can stop this. Now, if I was to attack France, I can't even pull in anyone. What is even the point? Is Castilla in a war? Castilla's in a war against Tupiningcum and Portiguara. Fine. Oh, wow. 61-year-old hair. Aragon, please. Don't give me this kind of hope. It can crush a man when it doesn't materialize. Can pick up in Diplo. I certainly will do that to be ahead of time. Um, yeah, there's currently a possibility of a free Aragonese PU that could just fall on me. And that would just be, like, the best and the worst thing right now, because Naples and Navarra would also come with it, which would eat up two extra Diplo slots. I'd be at 9 out of 5. But, uh, that's a lot of power I could suddenly just throw at France. I very much like the thought of that. That's what I'm after. Um, Northumberland is having a particular problem. He can deal with it. Wow, I'm making such good money. Ooh, Onyx can benefit a lot now from a, from a workshop. Manufactories. I'm already, it's 1511 and I'm building manufactories. Like, when, when, like for people who've seen a lot of my series, when does my economy ever go this well this early? 
English Channel represent. No effort, just money. Also, I should not have a guy collecting from trade here. I should be uh, transfer trade power from the guy in the English Channel. And Bordeaux, do I really want a guy in Bordeaux or can I, uh, maybe I can steal some trade. So no, right now I'm the only one who's uh, taking trade away from Bordeaux. Everyone else is just, uh, what is happening in this trade? France is pushing it forward. Who is collecting? Navarra's collecting and Castille is collecting. Castille has what? Um, Castille has like barely any trade power in here. So in theory, France will still keep pushing most of that trade forward. I could, however, participate in extracting trade from here. Uh, take the guy from Bordeaux. See if that helps. I suspect the money will be a bit smaller here, but... Uh... Protestant Reformation! It is time! It is time! We are Protestant! Our capital is now adequate! And now I can convert things, like... Can I convert London? I can't convert Breda because it's already being converted. Cool. Uh... Brussels and no wait that's expensive. Why is Brussels? Oh right, let's go with let's go with Dijon and then London. I think it's going to be ideal, because now now that we are Protestant, I made a lot of money, and um, it's going to be amazing. Austria is now super mad at me. Yeah, Austria is super mad at me. Let's uh, try to patch that up. Aragon is super mad at me. A lot of them are super mad at me now. Eh, they'll get over it. I made a lot of money. This was like a huge power click. Yeah, and even uh, I can definitely build a thing there. Um, good. I lost all. Oh crap! Uh, I lost all my prestige though doing that. Uh, sure, we can lose some money. I have a lot of that right now. Yeah, losing all that prestige is really bad. But uh, somehow I don't get PU'd right now. I don't know why. Because as far as I know, I should be getting PU'd. That also means that unless my prestige goes up quickly, when does my truce with... Uh, is there anything I can attack at all? Anything at all. I don't have any diplomats that can go there. Am I still integrating this guy? I am not. They'll, they'll convert, I'm sure. Oh yeah, Flanders flipped. Very good. Breda has converted the Protestant. We'll flip a lot of people. Which is exciting. We're gonna have a strong reformation. I have a feeling. Um, I do want to be able to attack something though, and I need to fight France. But for that, I need my allies. I can only get Castilian right now. I can't even get Austria. Or I could attack Provence. Truce with Austria is almost done. In a year, I might be able to throw Austria at... Oh! France has claimed the throne of Provence. Interesting. Terrifying, but interesting. Um... Too much prestige. Damn it, Aragon. Damn it. I need I need to boost my prestige. I need to win some battles. I need to get events. I can't have Cardinals in administration anymore. Um, you're still Dutch Catholic, but I can see that change as the center converts things. Um, we're almost done converting Dijonet. It's gonna happen quickly. Idea. Glorious arms. Yes. We flipped Liège, or Loon rather, which is going to be an interesting con uh, conquest. Dijonet has converted. Let's quickly convert London. Brussels will get auto converted because it's adjacent to the center, so it'll just happen. Um, do I want money and make the nobles unhappy, or make the nobles happy and gain a stability? 
I mean, that's a pretty easy decision to make. Hey, merchants, admiral, minister, ducats, points. And I've apparently reached the end of the episode. So for now, I will recruit an inquisitor because I can. And I will grant generalship because I can. And I'll thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time where we'll bring Protestant Jesus to the Netherlands. See you guys then.